My name is David Hempelman Adams. I, uh, I'm an industrialist, I, I run a couple of companies and I do a little bit of a venture in my spare time. Tonight's lecture is going to be about a trip I did about four years ago and it's an accumulation actually of, of uh, trips. Uh, so eventually the idea was to sail around the northeast and northwest passage and I've had a, a, a long affinity with the Arctic for many years and I've seen a lot of change and I thought well if, if it was possible to do this um, sailing trip and go around both the northeast and northwest passage it would demonstrate to people that we've got real problems up in the Arctic. What I think is confusing for a lot of people uh, including myself being a non-scientist is you get conflicting uh, arguments and conflicting stories, conflicting statistics. Uh, whereas I've been up to the Arctic all these years and seen actual physical change in a very, very short time in my lifetime. And that's what I wanted to try and get across to younger people and people in general around the world, that um, we better wake up to this. Well, you know, I'm biased, of course, with geography. I think it's the glue that brings it all together. So it doesn't matter if it's uh, oceanography or if it's adventure or if scientists are doing um, glaciology. It, I mean, it's all interlinked in one way or another. I mean, it's a bit of a, uh, a cliche, but the Arctic is the, the canary in the, in the mine and, and all the problems that we've got seems to be exaggerated in this area. So we're seeing rapid change very, very quickly and, uh, you know, frighteningly quickly. I think we're and myself in, included, we're complacent. And we always think that, you know, it's, it's never gonna happen. It, it's happening. So start thinking about it tomorrow morning.